So, Realme is pretty big over here in the UK, alongside Oppo, OnePlus, and Vivo, as one of the other Android makers that are not called Samsung. And for picking Realme, particularly its pro line of phones, you get one of arguably the best budget phones out there, cramming more tasty stuff into an affordable package than a KFC snack box. But what is coming next from this Chinese manufacturer, I hear you ask? And the answer to that is the Realme 8 Pro. And now that the embargo has dropped, I can go ahead and unbox this and show you what it's like. Let's get into it. Hey up and welcome to New Rising Media, your home of hands-on reviews and gloves off opinions about tech and gaming. I'm Jason England, all round nerd journalist and person you would normally find with pizza sauce down the side of his mouth, as you can see in my Xbox Series S review. And I thank you for forgiving me for having said pizza sauce on my face and for taking the time out of your busy week to check out this video. Cheers. Right, the Realme 8 Pro. Phones like these are usually about balance and compromise. Bringing some decently premium specs to the table to really build up the performance of it, while making the strategic compromises in certain areas to bring the cost down. And it's a hope that the compromises they choose don't overwhelmingly ruin the experience of the phone. So let's see what they've done here. Now, before we fully get the kit off, easy, <laughs> and see what's inside, we are kind of limited in terms of what I can say about this phone at this point in time. Of course, there are plenty of leaks online and we only have, at the time of this video going live, announced this phone. But I have to follow a standard set of rules that any tech journalist does getting one of these. You know, standard stuff like, I can't give you an opinion on this. I can't compare it to other devices. Don't talk about price. Don't talk about specific features, yada, yada, yada. The usual suspects. But what I can do with the help of camera two over here, hi, is open up the box and introduce you to the Realme 8 Pro, which I'll take out of this wrapper here. Of course, the big talking point of this phone outside of the camera module, which we'll get to soon, is this nice two-tone metallic finish achieved with what they call an AG crystal process in which the plastic back is showered with tiny particles that give it this look and more curiously an interestingly smooth yet grippy feel. As you saw the phone comes with a case but I don't think you'd want to give up on this texture. The Dare to Leap logo and the cam bump have a special fluorescent material added to them which will make them actually glow in the dark. It's hard to actually capture on camera but it's a nifty yellow sheen that I know may come in handy if you're snapping your friends in a dark place like a bar. When they reopen of course. Plus wired headphone users rejoice because this comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And now for the cool stuff that I can show you about this phone, which fall into two categories, which I will tell you about as I turn it on. So the two things I can talk to you about are the software and the camera. This is the first phone from Realme that comes with Realme's UI 2.0 right out of the box. Let's finish all this off. This is the skin over the top of Android 11 and it provides some important improvements over version 1.0. For example, there are some key efficiency improvements like an improved system resource utilization of 45%, which means system speed as a whole is up by 32% and a 17% increase in frame rate stability. And it also uses an AI pre-launch system to analyze your behaviors and keep some of your most used apps preloaded in the background to open them 23.6% faster. There's also increased privacy protection baked into this as well in what they call the deep sea privacy plan. You can set up a private space for password protected apps and documents that are hidden from view until you enter it and type in your password. Good for multiple users, 
or for those with sensitive information. Convenience and sharing is something Realme have focused on as well, with improved share sheets across not just photos, videos and songs, but also on individual subtitles of any movies or TV shows you're watching. But without a doubt, one of my favorite elements is just the sheer level of customization that you get, which is a big jump up from 1.0. It provides over 100 customizable items from broader options like a global theme color to more in-depth options like the warmly welcomed chance to increase or decrease the app grid density on home screens. Plus, of course, it has dark mode which I really like. Let's go into the other side of it and let's talk about this bit here. So the main place you will see the biggest hardware upgrade here is in the camera system, which brings a 108 megapixel shooter to the main camera out of this quad camera setup. But of course, as many of you know, bigger does not mean better because it's about the software and it's about the fine tuning of the lenses that really produce something special. You see, I am a photo and video nerd, if none of this gave that away. <laughs> and when a camera can't get the colors right, like my OnePlus 7T Pro found impossible in any restaurant that had kind of like that dim orangey lighting that you usually got in like more atmospheric places that you go out to eat. Honest to God, it made my steak look blue. Not in a good way, just made it look bright blue. Or it makes something that has that telltale phone picture look where the picture has fuzzy compensation for low light and everything has a heavily feathered edge around it. It just puts me in a really bad mood. And don't even get me started on the poor quality of the camera in any other app like Instagram stories. But this is not the time for me to rant. This is the time for me to show you, because I'm allowed to, some of the pictures taken from the 108 megapixel camera. And here they are. I can't tell you what I think of these pictures, but I can show you what I've been making from this across the different features on the main camera. All of these are straight from the phone without a single bit of editing or retouching applied to them. Got those? Good. Now, this is the part where I end this video for now and you won't hear about this from me until the review embargo drops and I can share with you my full opinion of the device. Are you liking what you see? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. And as always, likes if you enjoyed the video, subs if you loved it, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.